Whoa. Dudley Tarantula Girl coming to you from outdoors again today. This is a Postlotheria rufolata breeding video and I do typically cohabitate my arboreal or my Postlotheria in a tall breeding chamber and allow them to cohabitate for three days to about a week at a time. And so all I'm going to be doing today is refreshing my breeding chamber from the last pair that was in there and then introducing my animals into this chamber. So the only thing I really need to do to reset this chamber for a new pair of animals is have my tools ready, of course. The only thing I really need to do is just dampen it down pretty heavy and I actually usually pour some water in there just to kind of boost the humidity level as a lot of these arboreal species often breed during the rainy season and that's just something that I have found personal success doing. Another thing I do that I feel is an important key to my success is making sure that there are barriers in there. I like to have a barrier or two between them. One I'm using is the vine and another is the cork. Another thing I do that I feel like facilitates my success is I like to introduce the animals into the breeding chamber in their original enclosures and then take the lids off. That way they feel like they're on familiar ground, but on the other hand, they can come in and out of their enclosures as they so choose. Let's take a look at each of these animals before we get started. And this beautiful female is actually the property of Mr. Daryl Crump. So thank you for that, Daryl. First, let's take a look at the male. As most of you know, this species is known fairly well for its very fast flight response. Woo. And they move really slowly at times and incredibly fast at others. And you never know which is going to occur when. So I'm trying to just keep him nice and calm. And I'm trying not to hold the enclosure because they can run up the side of it super duper fast. Okay, so you can see he is really bright and orangey yellow. Really lovely. Although the males are sexually dimorphic from the females by being thinner bodied and kind of spindly legged. And so what I'm going to do now is put his enclosure inside and then try to just gently talk him into going up and over inside his happy little habitat. Okay, so I've just got him gently nestled in between the two nets and now I'm going to turn it inside out and he jumped right out of there. Okay, lid. Let him spaz out for a minute if that's what he wants to do. Oh, and a little tip, I always leave the lids inside here also so they don't get lost. Otherwise, they get separated and sometimes they get lost. On to the girl. This girl did come from Daryl Crump and... Whoa. So one characteristic of our boreal species is that they are super duper fast and uh, they can jump and be all over the place in just a second. Let's see if she will settle down so we can take a little look at her. 
and you really don't want to be holding on to the nets when they're ready to run. So you can see this girl's got some pretty nice size on her. She's got a good diameter on her leg span and she looks to me to be in great shape to breed. So let's introduce her into the breeding chamber. All right, so she just jumped down, lickety split, and they are both set. I'm going to just, now that they're both down in there, Add both of the lids and then make sure the top is secure. You do not want to roof a lot of running loose. And then once everything is in there that's going to be in there, I do a final misting and I make sure that is a pretty heavy dose of rain. Thank you so much to Daryl for getting me this female and to all of you for watching. This was introducing a pair of animals into a breeding chamber for cohabitation of Postal Etheria rufalata. Hope you guys like this one and I'll see you again very soon.